What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at some frame rate for the show 2022 and a little comparison to 2021's launch of the show as well. But if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like and hit the bell so you know when new content comes out. So starting off, we're gonna take a look at the show 21 from last year's launch and during some of the scenes and definitely during gameplay, we had a pretty solid 60. But when it would switch over to certain scenes, if you remember, we would get the drops in frame rate down into the 40s, 50s um, most of the time, and then right back to normal for gameplay. Now, they did try to work on some of this with patches later. This was launch day here uh, for 2021 last year. Uh, but I wanted to demonstrate that as we get into 2022 because I want to know if we had the same thing. And actually, we have a little less stable frame rate when we are in some of the scenes, even though uh, we get the same dips otherwise when we go into some of these other cutscenes and even lower lower on the frame rate at times down to about 38. So I was surprised to see that as this game shouldn't be very hard to run, especially for a Series X or even a Series S, it should be able to lock 60. But I said the same thing last year as well. However, that was the first time MLB The Show 20, uh, MLB The Show was being brought to other consoles besides PlayStation. So with them tweaking the game for this year, making the game look a little better, adding some next gen features, I was hoping we would get a little better on the frame rate, uh, but at least it is fairly solid during during gameplay, but we do still have those other dips. Now, when we go over into hitting, it's basically the same thing. You'll see dips in the 40s and 50s uh, in between scenes, but once you're into gameplay and controlling the action, we do have a really stable 60 for the most part, again, in gameplay, which is the most important part. Nothing here was breaking my game or my experience, and I've been enjoying MLB The Show 2022 since I started playing it. April 1st with the early access on Game Pass. So it was interesting to me though, I did think they would straighten out some of that for this game. I haven't tested it over on PlayStation yet. Uh, might do that Tuesday to see how that goes. And this year will also be the first time MLB The Show hits the Switch. So on Tuesday, I'll definitely be checking out this game on the Switch and doing frame rate for that as well. But anyways, it would appear at least for a launch that the same kind of frame rate issues we had last year with the show 2021 are there uh, in a lot of the transition scenes here. Um, but uh, when it comes to gameplay, for the most part, it is still pretty solid, though. We do get a little bit more dip here and there than we did before. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. Again, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up and ring the bell so you know when I drop new videos. Thanks again for coming to watch and I'll see you guys in the next one.